Okay. Don't, I don't want even this. Not even, I want, boom, right from there. Ah. And you're saying, where, where do I get the power? You're getting it. You're snapping it. Good. Beautiful. All right. Let's move right along. Moving pretty good. How you guys feeling? Good? I feel great. I meant the audience, but that's okay. How you feeling too? Good. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today's video is going to be on reviewing uh, the fundamentals of boxing uh, by Dynamic Striking featuring uh, Teddy Atlas. Now this is a fairly new uh, training series that you can purchase online at dynamicstriking.com. Um, I was initially interested and drawn into this. I saw it on, on the internet and uh, Teddy Atlas is one of the coaches that I followed for a long time now. Um, he's been in the sport for a very long time. He's one of Costa Motto's protégés. And most recently, he uh, was working the corner and coached Tim Bradley in his, I believe, his last two fights. Um, he's, you know, trained Michael Moore. Obviously, he was an assistant trainer for Custom Auto when Custom Auto's uh, training young Mike Tyson. So he's been around the sport for a very long time. And I was really interested to see his take on the sport of boxing, uh, the way he trains, and more of the, the mental aspect and how he integrates that into the actual fundamentals of the sport. DynamicStriking.com, when you go to the website, is really cool because you not, don't, not only have just boxing, but you have Muay Thai. Um, and these are all done by pro-level uh, athletes, fighters, you know, guys that have been in the sport for a long time. So you're not learning it from just some random dude on YouTube. You're, you're learning it from these guys that have the credentials to back up what you're teaching. So you, you have combinations of clinch, clinch work by Sanchai. I mean, who's considered probably one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest of all time for Muay Thai, aside from Bukau. Um, You have Cuban Boxing Fundamentals by Aladino Rodriguez and Isidoro Nicholas. So that's really interesting. I'm going to be watching that video uh, series just because Cuban Boxing is very, they, you know, they've dominated in amateur boxing for so many years. Uh, and then this one video we're going to go over today, Fundamentals of Boxing by Ted. And then he also has a newer video, uh, the Peekaboo style uh, boxing by Teddy Atlas, which I'm going to check out too. So... All right, now this is $97. I actually got this on sale um, for 37 bucks, but I'm just gonna click on this to show you guys what it looks like before you guys actually sign in and purchase it. So it kind of just tells you what you're getting. It has a couple trailers that you can watch to kind of give you a little bit of a sample of what you're gonna be learning, what you'll learn. You know, it shows you setting up traps, but this is what you get. You get four different videos. Um, total video time is about three hours for all four videos. So you're getting a good amount of information. You're not just getting some skimpy, crappy videos that you are, are gonna say, well, I already knew that when you got done watching it. So you're getting some good stuff here. So part one, you get an intro, stretching, wrapping hands. Part two, gloves, defense, do's and don'ts. Part three, pads, learning distance, no posing, moving after you punch, setting traps, inside fighting. Part four, the, the art of shadow boxing, hitting, controlling the heavy bag. So good stuff. Uh, once you once you purchase that, you go to, you go to your My Account, I'm going to click on the, the link, click to view this content. And again, I paid $37 for mine, so I think it's well worth it. And then you get to the video. So again, you have the four videos. The first video is going to be uh, about 17 minutes. The second video is about an hour and a half. The third video is about 35 minutes. And the fourth video is about 22 minutes. Uh, the first video, intro, stretching, wrapping hands, which is really nice that you can see that each um, section on the video has a timestamp. So if you want to skip ahead, you're not really interested in, to, in stretching or wrapping hands, you can do so. Or if you already watched it uh, and, and you, you, know, you paused it and you want to get back to where you want to watch again, you can do so. The other great thing about these videos is once you pay for it, you own these videos. You can actually download these to your computer or even to your iPhone or your smartphone and it's yours forever. So that's a great thing too is that it's not like one of those things where it's only on the website and, and you have to log in. You can actually download these videos, which is awesome. Um, so... You know, we'll start off with the intro. I'll, I'll kind of skip ahead. Obviously, for copyright reasons, I'm not going to show you guys all the video. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble, but I'll show you guys little snippets and, and so certain parts of the Thank videos. You. So you have if an idea. Patience, I'm going to take you through a workout where you're going to know all the punches, all the moves, all the steps. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and s s kind of skip to the middle uh, of uh, here. I'll show you also the end of this because. Come on, Ken. 
So he has Thanks for being here. Of course, Glad. Kenny Robles, who's going to be, um, I, I don't know if he's pro yet or he's a high level amateur, but he's going to be helping Teddy in this video. So he's going to be uh, the box in the video doing the actual training uh, while Teddy coaches him. To be here. A little further. All right, good. All right, we're going to be moving ahead at some point today. We're going to be moving from the waist. We don't want to pull any muscles. So here's. So let's put our hands on. This is the stretching part. Good thing about this video is that it's good for both beginner and advanced. Uh, people that are in boxing. So if you've never even boxed in your life before, this is a great video to watch because he's showing you the fundamentals. But even if you're more advanced, the great thing about Teddy is he's very charismatic and he under he knows how to um, show you why you're doing what you're doing. It's not just throwing a punch, but he kind of explains the reason you're throwing it and 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 gives you a good explanation and relates it to you, kind of like in a in a life type of way. You know, he gets you to think about it. So that's really nice. All right, sorry. And let's rotate. That's that lower back. Let's loosen up. That. Let's go to wrapping hands. Got a traditional hand wrap here. You want to use gauze? That's fine. It's just that um, we can use this every day. Gauze, you better have a lot of it. You got to throw it out. Get some new. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to open it up. We're going to get to the thumb bar. I knew it was here somewhere. I are you righty or lefty? I'm right. Okay, you're orthodox. Yes. Not a softball. So his lead hand, we'll get more into it later, is his left hand. That's going to be used most of the time. I'd say 85, 90% of the time. Sounds about right. Yeah. So if that's going to be used most of the time, well, I want my fighters to wrap their hand with the left, the one that's going to be used the most first. Why? A reminder. Just a reminder that, hey, this is pretty important. You're going to be used a lot. See, so those, those are like the little the little extra things that you look for from Teddy that he's so great at. He's able to kind of give you information that you probably not have, didn't even think about. You know, some things that are maybe in the back of your mind or subliminal. Little things that he's, he's learned over the years of coaching these pro fighters. And now he's giving it to you. He's sharing it with you, which is really great. So that's the wrapping hands part. We'll go to like the second video here. So gloves, setting the table, jabs, offense. So kind of skip through it. Good. Very good. All right, we're ready. Your feet might be a tiny bit too wide. That's it. Inch them in. And you guys do the same thing. You know, go through the checklist. You know, uh, the, are my feet the right distance? Go through that checklist. If, if you're a pilot or if you were in a plane, the pilot goes through a checklist. You know, flaps, good. Wings, I hope the wings, you know, hope so. uh, that's pretty basic. Wings, yeah. So again, he has an excellent way of really getting you to connect to what he's trying to show you so that it makes sense. And, and a great boxing coach will do that. They don't just tell you how to do it, but they tell you why you're doing it. And even like with the checklist principle, you know, when you're doing your shadow boxing and you're starting your boxing, you know, you're not just throwing punches. You're, you're, you're kind of going through making sure your footwork is good. You have a good foundation. You're moving your head. Your your punches have good form. You know this. That's you know you're you're pretending there's an opponent in front of you, and he really breaks that down. So that's great. You know, here's a little bit on defense. I'll kind of skip towards that. What? It makes sense. See, just in case. Okay, let me okay. let me scoot back here. a little bit here. Just a little bit, right, Ken? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Get it out. Don't chase. Okay. Good form. We tell you for. So he's basically talking about parrying punches where you don't want to overextend your hand to try to catch a punch because then you leave yourself open to a counter. Um, you know what is that? The right hand, use your left. And here, but here, here's a little extra. Ah, I moved my head just in case I missed it. You know why I'm doing with a power punch. So again, great little tips that you want to keep in mind, you know, where he just parried the punch, but he also kind of slipped out of the way, just in case, like, an, you know, like an insurance policy. What if your the, the parry doesn't go the right way or what, that way you expect it? At least you moved your head and you're now, you, you kind of have a second, you have a, a plan B, which is great. And then here's like do's and don'ts. I'm going to skip forward again. After your last punch, you can't take a picture. Cuss used to tell me, you can't take a picture, Teddy Atlas. What is wrong? You're not taking a picture. Get the hell out of there. Move. You can't wait for him to punch back. Don't wait for the receipt. Use any saying you want. Don't. 
I I, I, I do this myself, uh, you know, and I've been trying to break that habit. It is you know taking a picture. That's what they always call it in a boxing gym. After you after you throw your combinations, your punches move. Don't just stand stationary and stare at your your, your you know like uh, observing your work. You want to punch, move, get out of there. So that's what Teddy's basically explaining. Take a picture. Don't wait for the receipt. Get the heck out of Dodge. So simple. Jab. Buck. Move your head. Buck. Move your head. Just so, in case. You again, great stuff there. Um, we'll go ahead and go to. Uh, already did. Let's go ahead and go to uh, video number three. So now video number three is going to be uh, on the pads, learning distance, uh, no posing, moving after you punch, setting traps, inside fighting. So let's go ahead and kind of skip in a little bit here. As long as it's done in the right spots, and since we ran through everything, the punches, the footwork, combinations. Defense, rules, don't forget the rules, like moving after your last punch, making sure that you're punching from the right position, and you turn it over, clock. Don't give them that opportunity. So you can, you gotta understand there's two sides to it. There's the other side too. The other guy has to say, don't give him a say. Don't give him that opportunity. So basically what Teddy's talking about here is when, you know, when you're going through and you're doing your combinations or you're, you're putting your punches together, always to have that, that, that built-in defense, keeping your hands up and keeping the correct distance. So you can't throw the jab from there. You have to get the right distance where you're getting full extension, full length on the jab, knowing that you're not close enough to get counted. That's the most simple thing in the world. And you know how many people, even at high levels, they don't do it. See, so good stuff there. Um, I'll skip again, Ford. Um, this was going to be what, no posing. Let me kind of skip towards the front here. But nice. People get the idea. They feel the energy to it, the flow, the rhythm to it. That's, that's giving them a treat. I think they earned it. I think they're up to it. We did combinations. We, as I said, we went through this. Kind of skip. Tempt them to come in. Here we go. So this hit them to come in. So what he's talking about here is if you're if you're a shorter guy, and you're fighting a taller opponent, you know obviously distance is going to be to your advantage because they typically have longer reach. So what he's basically saying is, get them to come to you. Don't play their game. Have them play your game. Draw in there. Kind of like boxing can be like fishing sometimes. If you're at that level where you're doing it, Here's man, you came up, you thought about it, then so. you go out. You go out. He does it the way top guys do it. You put in your passion. You know? Pop, pop, pop. Just punches. Here's what it looks like. Pop, you want to? Pop, pop. Catch them coming in. Pop, come on, pop, pop. That's what it is. Pop, pop. Accidentally downloading the video. No cheese over here for the chaps. Just punches. Just punches. So basically showing you how to set up traps. Bop, you want to? Bop, bop! Catch him coming. There you go. Bop, go on, bop! You give him a reason to jump on. High level. See, that is what you're striving for. So that's basically like setting up traps, you know, um, and then inside fighting. Also. The conventional way that we're used to seeing a short guy get to a tall guy is to work his way in. Bring his feet, walk his way in, right, Ken? Right. Behind the jab, moving your head, get in. There's another way, and I would say it on ESPN. Get him to come to you to give up his height. Either one, you get mugged in bad name. Now, what's the trick to being an inside fight? Oh. All right. That's Sorry, I'm kind of skipping through here to try to get the jab. good stuff. Get in. Move your head. Go ahead. Get in. So. Okay, he's in. We're in. All right, now he's in. Bring that right foot up just a little bit so you're not spread out. There you go. Good. Now, what's the trick to being an inside fighter? I'm going to take these off. I'm going to show you. He knows already, but I'm going to show for you guys. You rotate your shoulders. That's where the power comes from because otherwise you have to pull your hands back. You create openings when you do that. So I'm not dropping. You don't want to create openings. So basically, don't not dropping your elbow. So you can see how Teddy's positioning him and showing you that you don't have 
you're already inside, you already have the angle on your opponent. There's no reason for you to drop your hand and leave yourself open to a counter. So, you inside, first of all, defense and offense. You gotta respect both. You gotta understand both. There's a place for both. Heads on the side where I can't hit him with anything. Yep. Can't be just right here. I hit him with the uppercut. So he's in good defensive yep. position, number one. All right, so he's in there. Now, he's got a shoulder position where it's all, he can say, okay, work, work it. Bang, Boom. good. So you're nice and compact. And he's not giving up defense. In other words. So he goes in more into that in more detail too. Good stuff. And then video, the last video, video number four. It's the art of shadow boxing. Okay, I'm going to okay. give you scenarios. Yeah, just keep working, keep working. Good, use your imagination. Develop good habits, good. One good. thing I love about Teddy, just to kind of recap, is he's very active in the way he coaches. He's not just one of those coaches that kind of just sits on the outside and just kind of tells you, okay, do this for five minutes, I'll be back type deal. He's always involved throughout the process. So while you're training, he's, he's, he's communicating with you and he may see little things that you may be doing right or wrong, and you'll comment on that, but he always keeps thinking. Good, good. What are we doing? Keep working. I'm going to talk. What are we doing? We're developing good habits. And at the same time, we're imagining scenarios, things that are happening, real things. Oh, awesome. And then here's a, the last part of this video, just hitting the bag. It's kind of like, I like to use this example with fighters, where you're at the ocean. The ocean is where all life came from. There's a force to the ocean. And with the ocean, you want to try to be the ocean, not the log. And that's, that's a part of boxing. And in a lot of ways, as we've been saying throughout this whole thing, a part of life. You want to be the ocean. You don't want to be the log. You want to be the one moving. It's kind of like the, the, uh, the Bruce Lee. Uh, it's kind of like that Bruce Lee uh, uh, quote. Um, be be water, be like water. You can flow or you can crash. That's a very famous quote by the legend Bruce Lee. So very simple. You want to be the one who's in control. And that's what kind of how we're going to approach this heavy bag. We're going to be in control of the bag. The bag's not going to control us. We're going to anticipate the bag in spots. We're going to control the bag. Please so stop. I just want to show you. Stop right there. If you feed it too wide. So I skipped forward a little bit. Now he's just kind of talking about the little things he's seeing uh, while he hits the heavy bag and just kind of fixing them as they go, which is great. I was saying don't get them too wide is two, really two reasons. One, we get stuck there. If they're too wide, we can't move. So we get stuck there for an extra half a second. That means we might take a punch we shouldn't take. Be able to have power, have, have balance, but at the same time mobility where you can get the heck out of there. Don't get stuck because you're too wide. So yeah, I mean, overall, these are excellent videos. Again, um, you're looking at about three hours worth of footage um, by Teddy. Um, I think it's well worth the price. I mean, 97, even if you pay full price for this at $97, I mean, you figure that's a pair of boxing gloves that you probably would have bought instead. Um, I got mine again, if you're willing to wait and you're patient, they're probably gonna end up doing another discount code and you can get it for like half that or even a third of that price. I paid 37 for this, uh, which to me is a steal, um, especially since you could download these videos and they, they, they're they permanently yours. So um, this is great videos you can use, uh, you know, if you're training at home, especially now with the pandemic, a lot of people are just uh, doing home training and maybe you don't have a boxing coach or a boxing gym where you live and it's very difficult for you to find some good tutorials. I definitely highly recommend this this uh, this series of videos. It's it's definitely worth it in my mind because you're getting some excellent training from one of the best uh, minds in boxing, and you're getting shown the the proper way. And he also gives it gives it to you in a way where it makes you think mentally, and, and you can connect with the information he's giving you. So it's not like some videos where they just kind of okay, this is how you throw a jab. And even for myself, I know a lot of you as I've asked that I do like a how to video on, and I've done a couple. Um, but you know, it's kind of like reinventing the wheel. There's a lot of guys that will show a lot of videos where, okay, this is how you throw the jab. Where Teddy, he really adds a lot more to it rather than just the physical part. He really adds a lot more of the mental game to, to this video. So I think it's highly recommended. So if you guys are interested in this, in this video series, um, I'll put the link down below in the description box to dynamic striking, uh, .com. Uh, I mean, again, this website is great because you're not, you can only, you not only get the, uh, Teddy Atlas 
videos. You can purchase all of these other series. And I think they're definitely um, uh, great series to, to watch and to learn. Um, and you can also go on YouTube and check out. They have a couple of snippets on YouTube as well, uh, which I like the fact that dynamic striking, they're not really like they're not super shady where they don't show any videos. They actually will give you some demo videos as well. That way you can kind of see what you're getting before you purchase it. So um, definitely good stuff. Hope you guys enjoy this review uh, and this video. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, uh, you know, I watched all three hours of, of the video and I'll probably end up watching this again. Great stuff. Uh, but if you guys have any questions or comments, again, as usual, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.